Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am your host Captain Awesomeness and today I'm going to take you over to Boss Pro Karting. I would have rather taken you guys to high voltage karting but today the weather is not really being that friendly with us so it's going to rain and we are expecting a lot of rain and as the policy goes with the guys at high voltage anytime it rains the outdoor section gets closed down. So I just figured you know what if I'm going to do indoor karting might as well go to the smaller track. Uh, which happens to be just a little bit closer than high voltage and uh, just uh, see what I can do in trying to beat that lap time that I am which is get into the low 19 second or maybe high 18 second range. I think I have some other ideas that may help me navigate through that track a little bit better than I did the last time but I'm uh, hoping that I can actually get to that goal that I really want to be at. So let's go have some fun guys. And before we move on to the track, guys, I need to talk to you about a concerning statistic that I was looking at the other day. So YouTube has this awesome tool in the form of YouTube Analytics, and it told me that 82.1% of you are not subscribed to my channel. So please do like this video, please comment, and please subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to suggest what you would like to see uh, in this channel in the future. All right, so I am back at Boss. I am about to go solo right now. I don't know what my other sessions will be like, but I'm so hoping that I can get into that low 19 mark. Like I have said, 19.3 or better. Let's see what we can do, guys.
19.643 not really very impressive oh, man i don't know what i'm doing wrong but i'll figure something out this is about to really aggravate me the fact that i cannot cut down on that lap time on this particular track
So it says 19.314, so that's a good improvement. I actually achieved my target. I said I'd be here and I'd try to hit 19.3, so I'm happy. But my God, my arm hurts doing it. So in these carts, you can actually move the seats forward as well as, you know, uh, work on the pedals, like get them backwards if you want. So I had the seat all the way forward. So my CG kind of went a little bit more to the center of the cart. Um, so uh, my arms are literally sitting in there like a, I don't know how to explain it, but it hurts uh, the whole time. So. In any case, that's what got me this, and that's thanks to these two uh, folks right here that work here. With session number three down, I was a bit slower. I did 19.4, which is slower than the one before that. So I'm just going out for one last time, see if I can get some consistency in. What I'm noticing is that in the first uh, 10 laps or so, I'm gonna do real well, and I will be basically looking at and decreasing lap times and uh, right after that 10th lap, all of a sudden I'm slowing down. So I don't know if I'm making mistakes or whatever the case may be, uh, but I am going for this fourth run just to see if I can catch where I'm making those mistakes and uh, if I can improvise on them or not. All right, y'all, I'm done with session number four and uh, the best I was able to do was 19.471 which to me is frustrating but i talked to um, one of the gentlemen that works here joseph he uh is one of the fastest guys that i have met yet so uh he basically said that uh i'm making a lot of mistakes on the last turn before you get into the straightaway and i do think that he's right so um there's a way where you can make that turn happen without drifting and uh, what he has noticed is that i'm letting the car slide a lot and uh, that is costing me a lot of time so instead of uh, going for another session, I figured, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut this off right where it's at. Uh, what's gonna happen from uh, now on is that at Boss Pro Karting, I am going to race here every time they have their league night, which happens every Wednesday. Today happens to be a Wednesday, but it's just that today I'm not able to go. They do these league nights every other week. So I am going to go to the one two weeks from today. Um, my aim is to try to link up with all of the fastest guys who actually show up to these things, uh, getting some tips and tricks from them, so this way I can break this 19.3, uh, 19.4 barrier that I seem to be stuck in at this point now. So the good thing is I'm consistent. Uh, the bad thing is, of course, when you hit this wall, it's very hard to try to improve uh, afterwards. So I am one of those who doesn't like to hit walls <laughs> like that, so I will do the best I can to link up with all of these folks um, and hopefully make good friends with uh, all of them and uh, you know get to see uh, better lap times out here. Until the next time I come here, guys, you will see me uh, go to High Voltage and do a couple sessions there as well. I hope that the next time I go to High Voltage, it doesn't rain so that I can actually use the outdoor extension of the track. Have a good one and we'll see you soon.